if you don't know, you can buy empty bit wallets for Vera kits. So we're talking about empty bit wallets. They're not made as generic organizers. They're sold as generic organizers. This Weha is a generic bit organizer. But these Vera products were made specifically for specific Vera kits. But they also sell the container in an empty form for organizing other things that you may have. I previously did a video on these two items. I'll link to that video at the end of this video. And this is the BitSafe 61 and it is awesome. I raved about it, but it has its limits. Uh, it's great for, you know, these type of bits, you know, this kind of a bit that has a bit of a gimmick built onto it. Doesn't really slide into a bit wallet loop, but fits into a bit safe really nicely. But the bit safes have their limits. Length is probably the biggest limit and they don't hold a bit holder. I've got all these Japanese bits I've been collecting and bit holders. How well do bit holders fit in these? How do different size bits fit in these? How much fits in these? This KK Micro, for example, I did not realize how small this is. I knew it was gonna be small, but I didn't realize how small. When you see a picture on the internet, you don't really know. So with this, what you're getting is storage for 20 bits. There's 20 pockets. These aren't loops, these are pockets. And they also even have a skip to stitch in the bottom of the pocket. So you can poke a really small diameter bit all the way through. 20 bits fit in 20 elastic pockets. 50 millimeter length is going to be your maximum. Two 50 millimeter length bits are going to fit in here uh, end to end like this. These larger elastic loops were originally intended for this Vera micro bit holder. So what else can you do with it? I found that I can fit Japanese wobble bit adapter. Well, this fits in here like that. So that was kind of a nice surprise. Um, this one also does have a large pocket here. It also fits a couple of these Vera impactor bit adapters fit it this way but it is probably not going to fall out because of the, the way that it closes up so i think you know retention is going to be just fine on it but you know you you can fit larger ones in here you can you can go like that and then it closes up a little nicer because there isn't so much bulk down here on this fold. So the KK Micro also has nothing on the back. There's no Velcro and there's no belt loop on the back. The Vera Empty KK62 holds 35 bits. It has 35 total loops, but you can see this, this loop here is kind of marginal because it doesn't really have a flap that's gonna hold this bit in. So you're gonna to wanna to put something in that loop that's really got a tight fit because there isn't, there isn't a flap that's gonna hold that bit in. But counting all the loops, it's 35. And the maximum length is 100 millimeters. These are 100 millimeter bits that I have in here right now. You've got this leaf in the middle and then this bit holder is pretty worthless in this size because you're only 100 millimeter length all these bit handles really don't fit in this because of the size they they do but the the velcro doesn't really close right it, it's it doesn't work so these are some 70 millimeter length 100 millimeter length that stuff fits in here great. And this one has a belt loop and Velcro on the back. So this would have originally used one of Vera's smaller, shorter diameter uh, bit holder handles would have fit in here. So 
So this loop is, you know, it's, it's marginal and its purpose is as a generic bit organizing option. But this is actually one of my favorites. Uh, $20 at KC Tool. This KK Micro was only $11.32. So uh, just under $18 was this Vario 88. And this one is the best of all these options, I think, for holding a bit holder handle and bits. So comparing these two, they both hold 150 millimeter length bits. Less than $14, the Weha holds 36 bits. The Vera Empty Vario 88 for just under $18 holds only 10 full length bits, potentially 20 bits if they're half the size. Uh, but I think it holds the bit holder handle better than the Weha. The Weha holds more bits. These flaps are quite large. Uh, they get a little bit clumsy, but they, they do give you a peace of mind, I think, that you're not going to lose anything out of this. This loop, how good is it as a bit holder? So this is a smaller diameter and that fits in here pretty well. Retention might not be the greatest though. If we move up to something like a PB Swiss, which is the same diameter, but the Swiss grip is not as slippery as the plastic compound on the Weha, you get a pretty decent size and I, I don't think there's any way that that Swiss grip is gonna fall out of there. So those are some of the issues with this loop. So here's what a larger Weha bit holder looks like in here. Velcro does come around, it does fit, but it gets a little bulky, um, but it does work. Retention, retention is good on that size. The Weha has no Velcro, has a belt loop. Uh, this one only has Velcro and no belt loop. This one holds a bit holder better. This one does hold a bit holder, but it gets a little bulky. This one really doesn't hold a bit holder at all, but it holds a lot of 100 millimeter length bits in it in a nice compact form with a belt loop and velcro on the back the kk micro has nothing on the back can hold bit adapters it's got a pocket so hopefully that was a helpful comparison of empty bit wallets that are available that you can use to organize piles of loose driver bits. These are some options for kitting up different combinations of bits and bit holder handles and adapters. So that's a look at these empty bit wallets available at KC Tool. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.